Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats for the opening session of the Innovation Convention 2014. Please welcome to the stage the Physicanton team performing an excerpt from their science show. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our interactive science show. It's called Science Show because we will show you loads of uh, the most spectacular scientific demonstrations here in the next 15 minutes. And it's called Interactive because we gave our show a nice subtitle called Learning by Burning. Yes. <laughs> well, my name is Marcus, and um, the person that stands for science here on stage is obviously. My colleague. Yes, um, also good morning from me. Uh, my name is Professor Dr. Otto Liebermann, but to be more international, you can call me Mr. Loverman. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, and uh, to make sure that you are all ready to, to take part, to participate in this conference, um, I would like to do a little test with you to make sure that you all have got the right feeling for science in your fingertips. And therefore, I'd like to ask you to get your arms in front of your bodies like this. Please, everybody. Yeah, it's early in the morning still. Also, the ones that don't care at all, please, over there. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> now, please cross your arms like this and make a knot in your fingers. You will get out of this again, I promise you. Right, and you need to make sure that your thumbs point downwards, okay? That works quite nice. Okay, now, ladies and gentlemen, I will show you something. Hang on. Whoa! Whoosh! And now you, please. Whoa! Uh, it's the innovation conference, isn't it, Professor? Uh, okay, anyway. So Mr. I Marcus, <laughs> ladies sorry, and gentlemen, sorry, sorry. that's enough entertainment. Let's talk about yes. science. Science. The next four hours, I will talk about physics. <laughs> Don't we have four hours? No. And sometimes innovation, ladies and gentlemen, is just how to combine established techniques. Um, let me show you a way how we combine established techniques in a new way. Here we got a usual laser. Um, we directed the laser beam onto a photo detector on this side. Just a normal solar cell, ladies and gentlemen, like you put on roofs to make a, well, voltage. Yeah, and then we connected a usual guitar amplifier to the photo detector. Yeah, and some people don't believe us that we have a laser here on stage, or it might be very expensive or forbidden, but we can show you that we have one with the help of a very innovative device, which is uh, paper. <laughs> so I can show you that we have a laser. It moves from here to the other side of this apparatus. They, uh, <laughs> Excuse me, um, Professor, the laser has oh. uh, gone somehow. Have you perhaps we just lost a photon. Have you Let's see, perhaps I can find some. Uh, excuse me, laser. <laughs> I take just one from the... Ah, I got it! Oh, here it is again. <laughs> oh, it's lucky we are. Uh, but, Prof yeah, <laughs> thank you. Please, if then everyone. Yeah, thank you. Uh, but, Professor, have, yes. you heard, have you heard this? Hang on. It cracks all the time, Professor, if yeah, I hold yeah, this yeah. the It's ray. supposed to do that. Yeah. What happens when the laser ray hits our photo detector? There is a current. And this current makes our membrane, our membrane in our amplifier, move forward. All right. And if I interrupt the ray, we don't have any current anymore. And then the membrane moves backwards. So it yes. goes like, bok, 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 all the time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, ten fingers. Hang on. By the way, we found out that this sound is good for your digestion. You know? <laughs> sorry, sorry. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's see when we don't use ten fingers, but when we use... I I'm sorry, sometimes I get a little bit sentimental at this point of the show. Uh, it's, it's really long ago, an old friend of ours, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> a comb. <laughs> yeah. Now, so, let's see when I use this comb and slide it through our laser beam. Luke, I'm your father. Wow! From the comp. Yes, from oh, the comp. But we can do it in a more innovative way, in a more uh, youthful way, I would say. Listen to this. 
Yo, Shex is out. <laughs> Please, a little applause for Professor Dr. DJ Lieberman, Professor. Yeah, thank you. But, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, this device works even better with the help of the rubber band, which I can use to interrupt the ray. Hang on, watch this. Let was rock and roll. Let's roll yes. this device back. A lot of Professor. smoke or nothing, we say in Germany. <laughs> Don't think about it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for me it's very important that innovation has an effect on everyday life. So, um, you know, it's shortly for Christmas, somehow, and I show you a way how you can extinguish a candle flame by using a plastic bottle. Yes. Thank you very much, Mr. Markus. Yes. Um, you got an idea how to extinguish a candle flame? Uh, certainly. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. No, please. No applause. What? If you go on like this, yeah. you are the one who will fill out all my EU application forms alone. Oh, oh, oh sorry, sorry, sorry. I just removed that. No, no, sorry, sorry. I can't. No, I have to go. Sorry, I leave the stage. Sorry. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there is room for science. Watch the flame. And I will just hit the bottle right over here. Yeah. I mean, it's clear you think, yeah, you push some air there or whatever. No. What happens is when I hit the bottle, so-called vortex ring emerge at the tip of the bottle and they extinguish the candle flame. You can't see them. That's why I brought another invention. This. Yeah. With this thing, I can do the biggest vortex ring ever. Let's see. Um, there we are. I just put some smoke into my Erzuka. And now, let's see what's happened. Yes. And for this side, and some for you. <gasps> Makes a nice haircut. Yes? Yours look really ridiculous. Look, I've... The bit larger ones here. What are Look you? what I have here, One nil, Professor. Yeah, fascinating experiment, fascinating. Now the people can't see us anymore. Really great idea, Mr. Marcus. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, today scientists are facing one big task. The question is, 
how we can bring the energy produced by renewable uh, power plants, for example, to where we need it, to the houses. Um, and we got an idea. Um, voltage lines? No. Gas pipelines? No. What we need is you. Yes. yes. <laughs> Perhaps somebody alone today? Nobody will miss him. <laughs> we got. Um, we need uh, four or five victor, uh, volunteers. Volunteers, 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 right? So we stage. will try to lead electricity through humans. And therefore, yes. I'd like to ask you: Is there anybody who doesn't want to take part in this demonstration here on stage? Okay, so I've got an army of volunteers, <laughs> which is brilliant. So let me get some. So maybe those who don't look at me at all. Oh, oh sir, <laughs> sorry. Can I ask you to help? Madam, would you help us on stage? That would be brilliant. Yes, a big round of applause for those two persons, please. And Oh, maybe, maybe, sir, could you help us? And uh, Sarah, who can I take? Oh, oh, madam, would you help oh, us too, please? That would nice be so you, kind. Bonjour. Please, come on stage. Perhaps yeah, you just please, that come here. Brilliant. So we have four the, persons. The audience. And they get Bonjour. a big round of applause. Mr. Loverman, two. hello. Please. Please. Right. Uh, Oh, 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 oh. Everything <laughs> okay? Fine? Yeah? Fine. okay? Please take oh. the chair. So just uh, <laughs> just uh, behind the, the lady in red. Thank you very much. Oh, That's my God. Brilliant. Okay. Hello. Nice <laughs> to meet you, too. Right. Just They were not prepared for this at you all. You want to come so on stage, it's... too? Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Is it five? Huh? Yeah, yeah. It's absolutely right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, really? A real volunteer. This yeah. Great. Really? Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> great. As okay. We... <laughs> Right. After we said, he said, uh, you said five. Yeah, that's right. Okay, One, three, so, so just, just come to the middle, please. Uh, would absolutely. You, would you help I, I'm us glad that the people in Russell can count. Yes, yeah. Maybe this point. Great. So, so, Professor, what do we have here? Uh, we got five volunteers. <laughs> uh, really young, nice-looking people right now. Uh, <clears throat> And we got a, a, a circle. Let's see. We got um, two handles. In Germany, we call them penuppel. You don't have to remember that. Um, so, and we got this yellow copper cable connecting these two handles. And on each side, the cable is split. Here we go into an active amplifier. And on the other side, we go into our uh, power supply, which is what, Mr. Markus? A usual MP3 player. Yeah, you can see that. Okay. So that means the electricity goes from here... To, through our yellow cable to the amplifier and there, from there back to the handle through our humans back here. And what we need to do now is to close the circuit. So what's your name? Daryl. Daryl? Mm -hmm. Okay, Daryl. Can I ask you to, um, to hold this handle with your right hand, please? <laughs> okay, this works right. This is the most dangerous part, but you did it well. So, okay. Uh, can I ask you to hold hands here, please? Right, okay. Please hold hands here, right? Stop, stop, stop! Oh, excuse, no, oh, sorry, excuse me for that, but if you hold here at this point too early, right, Daryl will get very, very bright <laughs> and then very, very dark instantly forever. So please don't close this position too early, right? Could you hold hands here, please? Yeah. Right, and you hold this handle on this side, sir. Can I ask uh, you to hold yeah, yeah. it? Just. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Just well done. Well, oh, professor, can you, professor, what that sound? What's that sound? Those, those are the brain waves of our volunteers, <laughs> and they telling us fear. Yeah. <laughs> and and and, Mr. Marcos. Yeah. Do you know what that is? No. That's your brain waves. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, professor. Very funny. I love this part. <laughs> right. Okay. okay so I just switched on again. Right. So. The circuit is sort of uh, constructed, but we now need to close it. So can I ask you both, right, to lift your hands and to put your hands together in the middle. Now. <laughs> oh, open it again. Close it again, please. Right. Okay, we try it out. Daryl, put you let loose. Open it and close it again. Right. Okay. Please open it here again. Close it again. Right. Well done. Could you open it? Open it again. And Sorry, can I ask you to put, you know... Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, now, uh, how come that this works so easily, Professor? Well, um, human, human beings consist up to 60% somehow out of water. I mean, some people even consist 100% um, um, hot air. 
It's, uh, but it's, uh, yeah. And, and in, in this water, we got a lot of salt, different salts, and that is, uh, makes us uh, such a good conductor. Not as good as a copper cable, but good enough, yeah, to, uh, you know, let the music play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, so did you notice anything while the electricity was going through your bodies? You got, you got higher. Yeah, you, yeah. yeah, certainly, certainly. Yeah, like a yoga lip. No, no. But didn't you have blonde hair before? No, no. So, no, okay. but clearly. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that means a big round of applause for our volunteers. Yeah, who get absolutely. Who a little prize from us, a little sweet. That was well done, well done, sir. Brilliant. A little sweet for you. Thanks for taking part. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, and that was uh, our little introduction to this uh, conference. Please, a big round of applause for Professor Dr. Liebermann. Thank you. And my really good looking but stupid colleague, <laughs> Mr. Macker. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy the conference. Good luck.